If you've been looking for a GTA Online RP server, then look no further than Grand RP. They have truly one of the best open free servers on the market. Whether you're brand new or a veteran, go do yourself a favor and go down below in the description. Click that referral link and register now. And entering Grand Now as a promo code will earn you an extra $25,000 of in-game money to start your brand new GTA RP life. Thanks again, Grand RP, for the sponsor, and let's hop right into it. What's up guys, it's Jiko and welcome back to the channel. Thanks again for all the support lately and I would like to quickly mention that I have added memberships to the channel so if you want to support in a monetary way you absolutely do not have to but if you're interested in it and you have the means to go right ahead. You don't earn any extra content or anything, you just get a little banana next to your name. But today we're going to be talking about the KO Perico update that we got last week, or sorry, leak I should say. That there's going to be these new daily collectibles um, within KO Perico, the buried stashes. You guys probably remember the video that I made last week. And Rockstar seems to make this daily collectible and serves one more reason to visit the island. Which um, kind of is weird. I was thinking about it and I was like, huh. You know, maybe they had three little diamond stashes and you can earn like $10,000, $100,000 or something. Uh, obviously, they're not diamonds. We don't know that for sure. But it got me thinking, is Rockstar not going to make a new heist or any new locations or any really big updates this summer, but instead update KO Perico? And it got me thinking even more. Maybe they add some more island to Keo Perico or another new location that is just like this vast kind of island desert, deserty area or jungle area, I should say. Think of Guarma from Red Dead 2. You guys may or may not have played it, but think of Guarma from Red Dead 2 where it's kind of like this jungle area. And of course, in Red Dead Online, you can get these little collectibles. And it's one of the better roles in the game. If you've ever played Red Dead Online, you've definitely heard of it. You find like all the tarot cards and stuff like that i find it really really fun and it was really really especially rewarding but in gt online i don't see how it could be as rewarding and as beneficial because we could just do the heist and make you know one two million dollars every hour but uh who, 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 who am i getting Obviously, there have been no new leaks. Uh, I'm only just speculating. I'm just kind of curious and wondering what you guys think of this as well. If Rockstar is going to continue updating KO Perico, maybe they make it a little bit harder. Maybe they add on some stuff or maybe they even add free mode. Shortly after you complete the heist, maybe you can go there and you have like one in-game day to mess around or something to find these very statues. But um i i doubt they're gonna do that they're probably gonna make it an absolute pain in the ass and make you do it either during the heist or you have to do it during the intel part which i'm probably i'm pretty sure they're gonna do it during the intel part let's be honest but the tweet of the leak also mentions a metal detector where we're going to be able to purchase this thing or at least find this thing we have no idea of course yet there has been no new news talking about this all I'm really hoping for is that if they make these little buried stash stashes, I hope they just make it worth it and I hope they make it beneficial or add something to the game or add some sort of new gameplay at least because from the sounds of it it doesn't honestly sound that interesting and if we're going to be at KO Perico and we're going to be doing the intel missions why waste the time looking for these snatches if you know we could just do the heist itself so I'm curious how Rockstar is going to go about that. It's kind of unfortunate that Rockstar is still continuing to update KO Perico. Yeah, it could have been good, and to make it good, it would have to go through some very massive and vast changes, like giving us the option to go exploring, making these daily stashes if they make it worth it at all, make them fun, or just add some sort of gameplay or some livelihood to KO Perico so we could just go there, have fun, but I really doubt they're going to be doing that. The heist is a, it's a good heist. It's kind of boring after you've done it dozens and dozens of times because it's obviously the best way to make money but i I'm, i just want a new heist or just at least some new gameplay aspect to play in gta online and i for some reason i just get the feeling that we're not going to be getting that during the summer update or whatever mini update we're getting this week or next week that uh tesfun 2 has been tweeting about in the past week or two 
But yeah, I was just giving my thoughts on it, just some speculation. Obviously, take this with a grain of salt. I don't know. I don't work for Rockstar, obviously. So whatever I say does not mean it's guaranteed, leaked information, blah, blah, blah. Nothing I say is confirmed. Just giving my input because I was curious and I have been thinking about it. So I'm curious what you guys think as well. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys want to see K.O. Perico updated, uh, whether these buried stashes are going to be worth it, how they will work, anything you have on your mind relating to this you know let me know down below in the comments and of course if you are interested in the membership go ahead and uh join it today obviously it's absolutely not necessary whatsoever but if you're interested in it go right ahead and of course uh thanks again guys for all the support lately thanks again guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one peace